Why is it right now? Which one's that? Um, you have to wait till maybe the end of the show. To no, do it right now. No, no, no can't on. give it away. The, the gift, it's not ready yet. The songbird. The songbird. Can't you just do Don't you have to be at some, like, fancy party? Can't you just sing something quickly? You can sing like that. Yeah. Just a small town girl. That's all you get. Yeah. That's it? Yeah. That's it, a little bit, you said. I'm thrilled. I mean, I love music and, I'm, you know, Constantine's a good buddy of mine, so I'm here to show him some support. And, yeah, it's a fun night out. Um, I loved Romeo and Juliet. I, I loved it. It was so great. The performances were amazing. It was a really smart production. Um, I had a great time. Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, the Brighton Beach Memoirs is a really good show. I feel like I would love to do that. Um, or, uh, I really do like Shakespeare. Yeah, I would love to do that. People just see me as like a song and dance man, so I don't ever get those calls. <laughs> but I want to. Two nights at Birdland, I'm thrilled. I mean, it's absolutely ridiculous. I don't know why, how they called and said, would you do this? But I said, absolutely. Of course. Of course. I don't know any guy in musical theater, well, a gay guy in musical theater growing up that wouldn't be. Um, I think for my first audition, I actually sang Somewhere Over the Rainbow, for like a community theater production of something. So it's just ridiculous that I'm going to be singing with them. But I'm honored and I can't wait. It's going to be a lot of fun. Yeah, oh my god, that's a great show. So, yes, I'm saying yes now. It's officially yes. She'll Hold be thrilled. me to this. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. This is the first of our two show for the next six weeks. So we're going to be doing two shows. Mark has been wanting to do this for a long time. We have an 8 o'clock early show. Uh, all ages, so bring kids, bring family. And we have a regular 11.30 show. That's really sweet. Don't bring the family that way. With Constantine. Just bring them. Yeah. Constantine yeah. Morales. Yes, with Broadway star Constantine Morales. Rocks is good enough to join. I'm so excited. It's such an amazing group of people. What kind I of would are you love for? to. There is a play that I did um, at the director's company last year called True Art that um, they're looking to bring back in hopefully the spring or summer, depending on my shooting schedule. So I'm, I have my fingers crossed for that one. It's a really great play by a woman named Jessica Robbins. So you're hoping to do that in between Orange is the New Black? Yes. You know, we finish season two January 21st. So hopefully, I don't know, God willing, we'll have a season three. You know, we have no idea when it starts, but I would love to. I would love to get into theater if I can. Totally, totally. You know, um, Sideways is coming to Broadway, and I I talked to them about doing it, and I can't because I'm doing Orange right now. But um, I, you know, I love. Sure, it, I would sing the Fig song. I am woman, hear me roar. Totally. I am totally excited. Yes, warmed up, ready to rock. You know, when you're performing with good friends and you get a, t a chance to be at a great club, I mean, this is one of the only clubs, not that I don't love the others, but this is one of the only clubs that I actually hang at after I sing, um, which I don't usually do, because usually you're tired, you put so much into your performance, and but this club just has this energy, where by the time you get off the stage, you're like, yeah, I don't want to leave, I don't go home, go to my hotel room, go to bed. So I usually hang out for a little while. Um, tonight's going to be a short night for me because I have a big photo shoot in the morning, so I can't show all of that mess. But I still am going to hang out with Mark a little bit, huh? Well, uh, yeah. <laughs> I've been slowly working my way there for many years. Uh, just showing off the chops and showing off, you know, meeting different people. So this is something that I definitely want to do and on the horizon for me, so I'm excited. I have a brand new play uh, that is going into rehearsal uh, at George Street Playhouse in New Jersey. Uh, actually, within a month. Uh, it's called uh, Clever Little Lies. It's a comedy drama, and I think it's going to star someone really great. She was a big, she had a, she was a very big TV star when she was very young in the late 60s. And she is still, to this day, a great star and a great actress, and I think it's all going to work out.
I grew up in the 80s. I love the 80s. I love Constantine, who's singing tonight, who did a show Mind and Houston, the Toxic Avenger. So I'm really excited. Yeah, I love the 80s. I, I, I was in college in the 80s. I was a youth in the 80s, and it was a great time. From the 80s, like my musician. Wow. Well, I'd say my favorite song from the 80s is Sting's Every Breath You Take. I think that's just a genius. So I can listen to that song a hundred times in a row. And I think it's great. But I, oh, I love it. I love Duran Duran. You know, Michael Jackson, I can't express enough how in 1984 when Thriller came out how that album was the biggest thing ever like bigger than anything I've heard since in terms of how just beloved it was and how every song that came out it was a big hit and we danced to it forever so uh, there's a lot of great stars in the 80s good one uh, yeah. God think can sing anything that man's voice is ridiculous uh, uh, what song would I want him to sing uh, oh there's a lot I would love him to sing. Uh, I, I love. I gotta say, I love like Duran Duran, like Hungry Like the Wolf. So I would love to hear him really wail on that. And Constantine, Hungry Like the Wolf, do it. I'll buy it.